Surya Wellness and Yoga Center and Amtida Film Television goes down to Prasthuti Arunu Dari Yoga Aku Chautho Bhaarmai Harunle Shwagat Sa Aaj Haani Tape Harunlai Chautho Episode Ma Bivinna Aashna Harunmai Harunlai Yoga Prasthut Karne Sa Avalana Yoga Tar Welcome to the fourth episode of Arunu Dari Yoga Till now we did the first episode the practices on our back in the second episode we covered the positions lying on the abdomen and in the third one we did majority of the sitting practices for this episode we will try to have the standing practices so that the whole package of our practice be cleared in your mind so before starting some standing practices we'll start with awareness of the body and the breath and after that prayer and then we'll resume our practice so please get ready sit straight spinal column in line with the neck head hands at rest around your knees chin slightly down and your eyes gently closed first just try to be still with the minimal movements around your body and one time try to feel the presence of your own body mentally for some time stay around your head pay attention to the reason around your neck and for some time mentally stay around your hands right hand left hand After feeling head neck hands drop down your awareness to feel the front and the back part of your trunk abdomen lungs spinal column and prepare your mind for the yogic practices Before starting our practice we will chant Gayatri mantra for two times to set up the internal and external environment For that you could join a palm स्वाहाम भर्गो देवाधीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया ओ भूरभुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवाधीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया शाते शाते Take a breath deep in and while exhaling gently open up your eyes and stand up The first position that we'll try will be the practice of stretch This position will make the flow of blood uniform throughout the body and will heat up the body from the probable wear and tear that could happen of the practices. Get ready. Legs both of them close. Toe heels touching each other 
hands ahead, body straight and stressed to some extent. Now slowly raise both of your hands upward towards the sky. Try to extend each joint of your hands upward, the shoulder joint, elbows, wrist, palm. Take abdomen innermost, keep legs stressed. Then lock up your palm, turn them upside and after stretching the body, slowly heels above the ground. With this position, you should keep gaze fixed on some point at the front. Breath as running with the position. And to get back the same reverse path to be followed, first heels back, palm unlocked and feel the effect of your effort while you're dropping your palm towards your legs. Loose up your legs, hands and be at ease for some time. Just let the body absorb the effects of your last attempt. With the standing practices, the first position that we'll do will be the Pad Angusht Asan. For that, keep gap of around 6-8 inches between your foot, hands around your waist, stretch trunk, legs, stick abdomen slightly in and through the palm, go on pressing thigh joint inward and drop trunk forward. Come forward, then drop palm to grab your toes. The two finger, index middle finger under your toe, thumb from the side. Then pull your toe upward. Keep leg and hand stressed. Then elbows, take them towards the side and go on dropping your trunk forward to place your head between the gap of the legs as much as you could do. And after finding one convenient position, go on connecting the position with the inhalation and exhalation. Not to lose stretch from the legs. And to get back, the same reverse path to be followed first, straight up your hands. Straight up your trunk, keep them parallel with the floor. Then release hand towards your waist and gradually straight up your trunk. Loose up your legs, hands and be at ease for some time and let the body absorb the effects of your last attempt. The effect of this position called as Pad Angushthasan is to burn the unwanted fats from the region below your navel area and at the same time it is cleansing the nerve plexuses around the anal region and get ready for the second position. This is extension of the previous position helping you out around the strength and the health of the, your kidney and the anal and the rectum region. Get ready. Same gap between the legs, 4-6 inches, hands, waist, leg stress, trunk straight stressed abdomen in, palm pressing thigh joint inward, trunk dropped forward. Now, the position of the palm, place palm under your foot and through the fingers of your leg, Go on pressing your palm to some extent, knee, your heels touching the ground, knee straight, hand straight, stressed. Look towards front for some time. And then slowly, by taking your elbows towards the side, go on dropping your head between the gap of your legs as much as you could do. Initially, don't try for the perfect position. It will happen gradually on the body. To whatever extent your body could do according to the fundamentals of the practices, in, to the same extent the position must be tried. 
just go on connecting your breath while you hold the position while you are exhaling just try to drag lower abdominal region inward as much as possible let the unwanted fats be burned from the lower abdominal area and as i told you before the practice is also working towards the health of your kidney to get back the same reverse path to be followed straight up your hand look towards the front then hand towards your waist and straight up your trunk loose up your legs hands be at ease you might feel dizzy or body shaking after the practice around that time just close your feast and everything will get absorbed inward get ready for the third standing position the name of the position is trikon asan the preliminary or the preparatory position have gap of around 2 3 feet between the legs leg both of them stressed now spread hands hands stretched away from the body you should feel extension around each joint of your hands with the stretch of the hand with the stretch of the legs abdomen will move inward now twist your right foot towards the right side right leg stressed left foot slightly in leg stressed still now change your gaze towards the right hand and slowly come forward to the right side to grab right toe with the fingers leg stressed and gaze upward towards the left stressed hand initially you might feel difficulty in keeping the leg straight right leg straight so bend right knee forward to some extent again try to straight up as much as your body could do and go on connecting the breath with the position to get back the same reverse path to be followed drop head to look towards the right hand and gradually straight up your trunk and the right foot back the same practice towards the other side just twist the left foot keep left leg stressed and left palm just drop it towards the left leg try to grab the left toe and turn your head neck to look towards the right palm above head stretch your right hand upward keep both the legs stressed and go on connecting breath with the position the effect of the position is huge around your waist it will burn unwanted fats from that region of the body and it will also help you to breathe more by opening up some channels of energy responsible for carrying out your breathing to get back the same reverse path drop head to look towards left hand and slowly straight up your hand left foot back drop hand cut down the gap between the legs and be at ease for some time and let the body absorb the effect of your last attempt the next practice this practice might be slightly difficult for you with the position what you need to do is again stand with the gap between the legs the position of the palm just try to join palm towards your back as much as possible initially you might not be perfect with the position even if you could be over here it's fine like this but slowly go on turning palm and try to take it towards your back now right foot twist it towards the right side leg stressed trunk just turn them towards the right foot and slowly come forward to drop head towards the right leg slowly gradually go on doing exhalation and go on moving head 
close with the leg around knee or below your knee. The name of the position is Parsvottan Asan. Help us to lose the limbs to some extent to get towards the further set of position towards further the range of the asanas just some time slowly straight up your head take trunk and the right foot back and then release your hand keep hand loose for some time legs still with that same gap and get ready to practice towards the other side twist left foot take your hand back and slowly come forward to drop head over the left leg you could bend the knee forward to some extent and in between try to straight up your leg as much as possible the position is also trying to open up your shoulder joint improving the strength of the shoulder blades Go on connecting breath with the position. It is very important to whatever extent possible from the body. Just some time. Gradually, straight up your head. Get the foot and the trunk back to the center. Release hand and cut down the gap between your legs and take rest for some time in the standing position. Loose up legs, hands and be at ease for some time. For this episode, one more standing practice. The position is called as the tree pose or rich asan. The practice is having great effect on the functioning of the mind. It has all the potential to stop the unwanted reactions that we used to do while carrying our daily life. Whenever in the situation of life, we don't need any words, we still speak. So to save energy or to save or change the nature towards that side of our habit or the practices, we could try out this three position. Get ready. Legs, both of them close. Fold left leg and fix your left foot under your right thigh as much as possible as much close as possible you might feel initially difficult to keep the left foot around the right thigh so around that time you could place it anywhere around the right leg after placing the foot the second task is to fix your gaze around some point at the front and then join your palm in namaskar mudra thumb close with the body and to release the same reverse path could be tried. Release Namaskar Mudra, release left leg and loose up legs and be at ease for some time. The position could be tried for the range of 30 seconds to 2-3 minutes as per the condition of the body. This practice not only is giving you the opportunities to to stop from the unwanted reactions but at the same time the position is keeping you on one foot so it is giving you some sort of internal stability of the head now we will end this episode with the practice of yoga nidra which is a must at the end of the asana practice and for that lie down on your back Just spread legs, hands, lie down on the back and take rest. Be at ease, total ease. Gap between the legs around the feet, hands spread, palm facing the sky, body completely loose. After ending the practice, we should just let the legs, hands, trunk, neck, head to 
absorb the effects of all our sincere efforts. Just be at ease. For some time, just forget all your knowledge and understanding and simply stay with the words reaching to your ears. Keeping your eyes closed with the minimal movements of the body, mentally just stay around your head. Feeling your forehead, your eyes, ears, nostrils, your mouth and tongue. After feeling your head, just stay around your neck for some time. Feeling the front, back and the sides of the neck. And then your attention towards your hands. Right hand from right shoulder joint up to your right palm. Left hand from left shoulder joint up to your left palm. And then your awareness towards your abdominal rise and fall happening naturally with the breath. Now shift your attention to feel the reason around your lungs. Just feel its expansion and contraction for some time. And then your attention towards your back. The lower back region, the upper back region, and the whole length of the spinal column. And then your attention towards your legs. Right leg from right thigh joint. Travel down through your thigh towards right knee and then towards your right foot. Left leg from left thigh joint Travel down towards knee, towards the left foot and then just leave the body at ease for some time. Just relax. Now, we are towards the end of this episode and we will end the episode with the chanting of Om for three times. Gradually, wake up and sit up. Sit straight, hands are thrust around the knees, chin slightly down and the eyes gently closed. Chant home the way it is coming from your inside. Just keep the voice mild. Get ready. Inhale and chant home.
silence for some seconds. And then take a deep breath in and while exhaling gently open up your eyes. Thank you so much this much for this fourth episode. Stay tuned for the further episodes of Arnoda Yoga where we will do some Surya Namaskar practices and some breathing practices. Thank you so much for watching us. Dhanibar Darshami, Arnoda Yoga ka chonto baad mai yaan le aazami ni pipi na ashan harma yoga prasut kare ka thim. Ra aandai yung guru nam sa bisasa kumala tere tere dhanibar. Ra ta pali yung chonto episode lai pani Bhakti Darshami Chala Vision ka YouTube channel maar fatiya na saan honi sa. Here it is happening by you. Namaskar.